to, or I guess I'm going to do a how-to video on something I don't really know how to do. Um, I'm going to change the oil on the truck. <laughs> Probably the first thing we ought to do is grab our tools. Here's the oil fill. I'm not really sure why, why we're doing this. Well, what we want to do is loosen this cap or pull it out. Okay. It introduces air into the system, which will allow the oil to pour out more freely in the bottom. So okay. that's why we're doing that. That's where we would check the engine oil up there if we want mm -hmm. dipstick, if we wanted to check it, mm -hmm. but we already know uh, we're changing it. And then also an oil filter wrench. Why do you need that to just tighten it back up? Mm -hmm. Because they to said- To get it off. But the one video I watched said they just did it by hand. They just unscrewed it by hand. Sometimes you can do that. Sometimes you can't. It's always a, always good to have a wrench. In the old days, what they do is they just jam a screwdriver into the thin side of the canister and just use that it. as a wrench to unscrew it. Sometimes it gets stuck. Sometimes you can undo them by hand, but most of the time I've needed a wrench or a screwdriver or something like that to, to force it. So you're gonna do this, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So there it is right there. It's an oil pan and I was looking for it and then I was like, oh, it looks like the one on the backhoe. Now I know what they all, I guess, kind of look like. I guess kind of like that. There it is. So I already loosened this. I've got my oil pan remains here, my oil pan for the remains. And so now I'm just going to loosen it like uh -huh. this. And you can go ahead and let the bolt drop into the pan if you want to. Is that good practice? Is that best practice? Well, if you can do it without, that'd be great. But if, if it's just too hot or whatever, it's starting to pour too fast. Okay, so I, look at I want to be on. So I have my sleeve rolled up because I don't want my shirt dirty because I'm not, I'm not really in good clothes for this. But now I'm going to try to get this off, but I don't want it to drop in the oil because I don't want to have to find it. Maybe I can get it. It's gonna start pouring oil here pretty quick. Oh, it's a big one. It's long. Here it comes. Oh, I, I dropped it accidentally because I got scared. It's okay. Each chip said it was hot. All right. Is it it hot, is warm. Hot? Should be pretty warm. Oh, that's not hot at all. Oh, it's not. No. Okay. It's just warm. Well, that oil have, is black. It needed an oil change, didn't it? I could have not dropped it and made a big mess. Oh, you! Oh, there's not any in it, hardly. Uh oh. Oh, there's some in That's it. That's a bad thing. There should be much more. Mm, I don't know. Yes, there should. This be is an old engine, and it's using oil. I mean, it's kind of normal. But you can see how thin it is, though, as it pours out almost like water because it's warm. If it were colder, it'd be thicker. So we'll just leave that like that for a moment. And while it drains, let's find the oil filter and pull it off. Um, that's gonna be at the front end. Well, not on all no, engines. That's where it was on the, my car engine. Yeah. It was here and then at the front back there. I'm trying to remember where it is on this thing. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. You change the oil. I, I've always changed my own oil and I can never remember where anything is. <laughs> It, oh, it's right there. I see it. You see I it? I see it. It's right okay. there. All right. Oh, it does turn by hand. It does? I loosened it. Okay. But I don't want to take it out yet because well, oil will come out. do this. Uh, do you think that the pan is long enough to cover both? No, because it's right here. See? Here to here. Right. Right well, let's wait a few minutes for it to drain then. and We'll put the cap back in. Oh. Uh, you can see it there. I don't want to get it on this shirt. I didn't think about changing clothes. When that comes off, you can just turn it directly upside down inside the pan, and a bunch of oil will pour out of it. Oh. Like that. Huh. You did it. It's clean that flat surface mounting surface for the looks like you 
got it, robber. Nice. Nicely done. You like changing oil, Robert? Yeah, not that hard. It's not hard. No, it isn't. Not hard. It can be kind of messy, but it's not that hard. Oh, messy. Like how tight? Hand tight. More? Yeah, until can you, you can't move it. Snug. That's probably pretty good. Good job. Yeah, you got it, Robert. Okay. Shoot. Huh? A messy mess. Yep. And I have to turn it, this thing, the other way. Yep. Nice and tight. Get a good. Yep, it's tight. I did it. You did it, Robert. All right. Now we need to put new oil in it. it. Takes five quarts. Clean funnel. Nice and clean so that no impurities get in the. Engine. Well, I guess you cleaned it. You brought it to me. Yeah, I did. <laughs> okay. You got oil spot on your nose. I do. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, then go ahead and fill her up. You can put it on me a second. So you know something kind of cool? When we went to the um, auto store to get this stuff, we found out that my little Ford Escape takes more oil than this big old Dodge truck. Mine takes... Almost six quarts. Yeah, 5.7 quarts, and this one only takes five, so I was like, oh, wow, I wonder why that is, mm -hmm. and E-Chip explained to me a little bit about that yesterday when we went to go get it, but... Modern engines yeah. use want a little <laughs> bit more oil, a lot like the older style engines. The backhoe engine takes six quarts. Oh, yeah, I forgot you told me that, too. That big, gigantic backhoe has as much oil as my little car. I can see uh, it. We've got a little bit more than a quart. Just leave a quart. Uh, leave, leave about a half a quart. I got about a quart, a quart now, yeah. How come you don't want to put it all in? Uh, because even though it says five quarts, you don't want to overfill. You want to make sure you have it just right. It's just a practice that I've done. A little okay. more? Yeah, a little more. Okay. We'll let that move down into the engine, uh, into the pan. And then we'll gauge it here in a moment to see how much is in there. Then we'll run the engine to get the oil circulating in because the f the oil filter is going to take up oil filter is going to take up some of how, that oil. How much can fit in there? Not very much, really, because it's not that big of a filter. In the filter, maybe half a quart. It's a small filter, so anyway, I'll give it a minute. So now, now I have to check to see how much is in it. So I've pulled the dipstick and I'm going to wipe it off because you have to wipe it off first. Yep. Then I have to put it back in. And then yep. I have to give it a final check. Oops, I missed. <laughs> can't see it. There, got, it. got it. Those wiggly little things. This is a long one. Uh -huh. It's got a long way to go to get down in the pan. Okay. All right. Let's read it. So I am okay. an acceptable so rain. Except when we start the engine, oh, it'll go down. it's going to take, the filter is going to take some of it. So let's run the engine. Put this back in. Do I have to put the lid on the engine, the oil engine thing? Not yet. So just let it run and circulate for a minute. Then we'll turn it off, let it rest again, check it again. Change the air filter. I guess it's in here. I don't know. That's right. I just pulled this little thing off. Pull those tabs down right here. Let's pull it out with your thumb. There oh. you go. 
Oh, I guess there's another one. One on the other side, side, and there are two over here. Oh, I see them. They won't fall off, I hope. Nope. And then it lift is. it up. Oh, it's not very dirty. Oh, wait, is there one there? Don't see one. That's a hinge. It should just lift right off. There you go. So that's the that's the clean side you see. Oh. The or dirty sides on the underside. Let's see what we got. Oh. Yeah, that's plenty dirty. Is it dirty, dirty? Well, it's fairly dirty. It doesn't look super dirty to me. I wonder what mine looks well, like. That's... I bet mine's really dirty because I haven't changed mine ever. Mine ever, unless they change it. You know, the thing about an air filter, and as long you know, as long as it's not really, really clogged, mm -hmm. you're usually okay. Um, since we have an air filter, let's go ahead and change this one. The way an air filter is designed, it's got all these pleats uh -huh. here with all this extra space in between. And the reason for that is because it increases the surface area through which the air mm -hmm. can flow. Um, but, I mean, and sometimes all you need to do is just sort of bang this off, but there's some kind of oil or something in it. It's, it's kind of oiling and gumming it up. So, may as well change it while we're in here. And you can see there's some little critters and things in there where it, yeah, it's kind of dirty, a little dirty, not too dirty. And nice new filter. Huh. Let's see the air so comes air in right here. Goes in right there. Uh -huh, from the outside. Yep. Oops. Huh. There's nothing in it. Catch the hinges on those holes. Nothing in it. There's nothing inside there. And it's just a It's just an thing. empty, yeah, empty canister. Is it, it is. And I'll snap this one. You know, I don't know if I was ever allowed to do this. I don't remember. I just was able to go watch people do stuff, but I don't remember ever. I don't know if I ever asked to help or be caught. I don't know that my dad would have ever done this. Because he was friends with Jim Koosler, who had a gas station and stuff. All right. Okay, it says we're in this, we're still in the safe area, but we can add some more. Um, probably be, why don't you go ahead and add the rest the, of it? Let me see how much is left. Half Not a much. quart. A little, almost a quart left. Go ahead and add it and see what we get. Yeah, my dad, dad would have never done this because he was friends with people who did, had bit me on places. Sure. And, and is that is the fear factor in it? Like it's too hard, or I wouldn't, I'd mess it up. Or well, something. and it's and not. everybody wants you to think it is so that you'll buy their product <laughs> and use their service. Well, I mean, I don't mind giving serve, you know, using people's services, mm -hmm. but. You know, anymore. One time I went to this place they messed over. something up. They didn't uh -huh. do something. And yeah. they were like, I don't know, showed up at my house or something. They were like, oh my gosh, is there anything wrong with that car? And I was like, no. Well, we're going to send someone over there right away. And they came over to the house. And um, anyway, they came over to the house and they had forgotten to put something in it. Maybe the oil pan bulb. The cap I don't know. Or something. something. Yeah. Who knows? Mm -hmm. But the guy was very, very nervous, nervous yeah. and everything. And, you know, I've seen so many posts on social media where people have gone to get oil changes and stuff mm -hmm. like that. And the people have forgotten to do something, mm -hmm. left the oil filter off, who knows, totally ruins the entire motor mm -hmm. and stuff like that. And then what do you do? Destroy oh, an engine quickly. Oops. Oh, well, sorry. You know. Yeah, sorry so. we destroyed your engine. <laughs> well, they're liable for it if they do. But, uh, but I wonder if you would have trouble getting them to pay. Mm, I don't okay. know. So, the funnel comes out. And the cap goes back on. And we check it again? No need. We're good. That was really an easy job. I'm really kind of proud of myself a little bit. And it took us all of what? And I don't know. I mean, long. not uh, except for pauses because we were videotaping. I mean, how long did it take 30 us? 30 minutes. Well, I mean, that included the pauses, yeah, right? Probably. 15 minutes, about as long as an oil change place would um, take. It was $25 for this set of stuff. 
twenty-five for the air filter and the oil and oil filter. It was twenty-six dollars. Twenty-six ninety-nine. Yeah. <clears throat> and an oil change place for that would charge you thirty-five or forty dollars now. They would charge you. Well, I guess it depends. Some places you can get it for like twenty-five bucks for an oil and filter change. Sometimes it's just an oil change. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's oil and filter. And if they put a filter in, sometimes it's a cheap one. And then they would charge you, but for the air filter, they'd charge you another 20 mm -hmm. or 30, something like that. So we're looking at $26, well, with tax, just say 30. Yeah. 30 versus somewhere between 40 and 50. You're out the exact same amount of time as you would be sitting, uh, you know, in an oil change place waiting for them to do it versus doing it yourself. And you can do it on your time. Not only when, not just when they're open. And you can trust yourself to know that you've done the good job. Right. And you have nobody to blame but yourself yeah. if you miss. <laughs> oh, whoops. I, I totally ruined my car today changing the oil. Oopsie. You, you just have to double check and make sure that you've put the pan bolt on, mm -hmm. that you've put the dipstick back in, that you've put the oil fill cap back on, there's and no, then that you've sealed down the air filter no. canister properly. But there's no, can I get a redo, please? That's right. <laughs> That's right. This is an old engine. This engine has what, going on 250,000 miles on it. And it's been a good motor. The only thing I've ever had to do to this is replace the uh, water pump, which you can see is new on the front of the engine. And then also the electric fan for the radiator. Uh, it went out. But uh, other than that, it's been an, and it's using oil. So I think when we pour this oil out back into that tub we're going to see a lot less oil go in than we pulled out because it's an old motor it's using oil and that oil is really black which tells me it's burning it so it's just getting old it's getting old but you know oil is still relatively cheap and i have a lifetime warranty on this so i'm going to keep it forever did you have fun robert i did it was a good experience thank you yeah. would you do it again yes i want to do mine yeah so i said be... i wish I mean, but it's just not really practical. I don't know what it is with Ford. They, you know, every every piece on a Ford machine is a custom piece that they make. You can only, you know, you can only get through Ford. Well, let's tell them while we're here. I ran out of gas. Oh my gosh! Mm -hmm. You talk about a nightmare trying to get anything down into that mm -hmm. little gas can thing. You mm -hmm. have to hit two spots on it to be able to get anything. Open down the door, in there. yeah, on the fuel door. Oh my gosh, what a nightmare! And I don't know, you know. They're probably, oh, we do it for your safety so people right. can't steal your gas. Right. Um, take my gas all day, you know, really, <laughs> I think, if I'm going to run out of gas, <clears throat> which I've never, I haven't run out of gas since I was a teenager, but I did one time not long ago. Each hip came to my rescue, thank goodness, but anyway. But yeah, this this Ford, I don't know what it is about Ford. They've gone crazy. They're engineers. The, it's like they're making up things to create on these things. There is a gigantic shroud underneath this engine which makes it impossible to reach anything without pulling it off and there are seven torx bolts holding it on so you have to pull the shroud to get to the oil uh oil pan so that you can pull the plug and change the uh the filter and so it's just a hassle it's it's easier taking the oil change place yeah and when i on that video earlier i said i probably would do it if i had a good jack <clears throat> I don't know. I don't. I guess I might. I guess the jack's a jack. Or a well that you could climb down into and yeah, get under it but better. It is a pain. Yeah, it I is got a pain. up under there and looked at it. I was like, uh, I don't think so. Because by the time you get that on and off, that probably adds 10, 15 minutes. Yeah. Well, for me, if I were to do it myself, it'd probably take me 25 minutes to get the thing off. It's just crazy. But I mean, everything, uh, you know, they, they make good cars, but everything about a Ford nowadays, it makes it so hard to work on because everything is a custom piece, you know, and it's just there are a billion little things to you have to pull off to get to them. I just... Well, I, that was an interesting experience. I just wish I would have been able to change the oil on my car because that would have been really super empowering, but it, unfortunately, it's just crazy, crazy hard to get to. I could do it, but at least now I know what I'm doing, which was really cool. I guess one of the things growing up i always like to watch people doing stuff to cars and different things like that i was i never have changed oil before just always taking it in but now i know what to do and it's not really that hard i guess part of the 
fear, part of not doing things is kind of a, a fear factor as to, oh, maybe this will be difficult or something like that, but it's not. It was really pretty easy. So I have another skill under my belt, so I'm really happy. Eek.